And it was wonderful to know that the building had been vetted. And, and then it's also a beautiful building. Um, and the views were wonderful. Um, it's located in a perfect place. It's turned our lives upside down. I mean, I think that's a fair statement to say that, that we had a different life really before this whole uh, problem occurred to us in May 10th, 2016, when we were told building sinking 16 inches, tilting 15 inches, um, and unfortunately, we don't know when it's going to stop. And that was essentially you know, the presentation that was made to us, and it was the first time we'd heard that. And that's, those are staggering facts in a way. Projections were for it to settle uh, to about a foot. Uh, the building is designed to withstand that and quite a bit much more, so it, it's actually fine. The uh, structural integrity, the seismic integrity have not been harmed, um, but it has settled beyond its original expectation, and we want to make sure that it stops settling. Remember, this is a part of San Francisco that up until 100 years ago was the bay. This is all landfill. And some of these projects, some of these new projects, are putting their foundations all the way down 200 feet to bedrock. And some of them are not. And as we are in the midst of a huge construction boom in San Francisco, I want to make sure that nobody's cutting corners. Uh, a new independent investigation looking into what caused the settlement uh, came out with fairly conclusive evidence that the tunneling for the Trans Bay Tunnel, Joint Powers Authority train station that's going underneath the ground, uh, not only caused the original settlement to exceed its expectations, but that they're continuing to cause potentially damage to the building because they're sucking water out of the soil. The reality is that that building had been sinking an inch a year before the Trans Bay Terminal Project had just turned their first shovel full of dirt. I think a lot of people will talk about how they have difficulty sleeping. And then there are people here that have children, there are people here that are on um, very high floors that would have a hard time if they had to evacuate the building if there were a seismic event. I mean, there are lots of reasons to be concerned. Um, 
I think the biggest issue for most of us is what if there is an earthquake? Most of us are not confident that the building would be secure in, in that. And there, there is another group of people who think everything will be fine and they'll fix it. I think those are probably the less informed people.